You've heard of acting school or maybe even cooking school, but have you ever heard of wrestling school? Professional wrestling is a live action, hard hitting form of entertainment. And tonight we have the story of a Windsor man overcoming great obstacles to succeed in this unique business. CBC's Sanjay Maru reports. It's a rare look into the world of professional wrestling, a place where students learn how to perform submission holds and hard hitting slams. Can-Am Wrestling School has been training students since 1993. 34-year-old Cameron Adamson has been there since January of last year. He graduated from law school, but he really wanted to wrestle. And there is one thing that sets him apart from his peers. He was born without legs. But that doesn't mean he isn't pushed as hard as his fellow students. Even without the legs, I'm still doing all the push-ups and all the dips and, and, every, and all the work. And they're also um, helping me learn what I can do and how I can move. So it's been great at learning. Maybe some things I thought I was limited at, I'm actually not. And just it's find those workarounds. And you can make anything work. So far, Adamson has performed as a referee at two events, but he does more than simply enforce the action. Even without legs, he performs aerial maneuvers off the top rope. Respect is extremely important in the world of professional wrestling, and it's something Adamson has earned from his trainers. His drive is like no other. He's here more than everybody else. Um, he, he wants to try a bunch of stuff that he really, I wouldn't say necessarily should try, but he just wants to get in there and, and do as much as he can. I, I really respect that. Adamson knows his options will be limited in the professional wrestling world, but he doesn't care about that. Instead, he'll focus on doing whatever he can to work in the business he's loved since he was a kid. And Sanjay joins me now. I understand that Can-Am Wrestling is one of the most prestigious schools of its kind, but it's very hard to find. And well, that's because they've actually hidden their location from the public to avoid being bombarded by wrestling fans. But Arms, you are correct about it being so prestigious. They've trained some of the most prolific wrestlers in the world today. Even The Rock made an appearance for them once. Uh, tell me about where the general public can see some of these wrestlers in action. Well, actually, in the first two days of June, Can-Am is tag-teaming, if you will, with Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling being the second biggest wrestling organization in the world behind WWE. They're going to be hosting two events, June 1st and 2nd, at St. Clair College. Thank you so much. CBC's Sanjay Maru with that report this evening.